Hello everyone. Welcome back. Finally, there is a new model that changes everything about AI video generation. I have been testing WAN 2.1 Fusion X and it solves the biggest problem we had with the old WAN 2.1 model. The slow generation times and inconsistent frames. What's crazy is you can get Hollywood quality results in just six steps now. No more dealing with cost fit or painful sampling steps that take forever. I'll show you exactly how to set this up. But first, let me explain why this matters. The biggest big breakthrough here is frame consistency. Something most AI video models struggle with. When you are generating video, you want some small transitions between frames, not that jittery AI look we are all tired of seeing. Fusion X actually keeps characters and objects stable across frames, which makes all the difference. To get started, you will need to download the workflow from AIStudyNow.com. It's completely free. Just subscribe to their blog for updates. Once you have it loading into Comfy UI, you'll use the same VAE, text encoder and clip vision files from previous WEN 2.1 workflows. The only change is swapping out your old model for Fusion X. So here is what you need to know about the model files. First step is there are FP8 and FP16 versions available for both image to video and text to video. So download these files and save it in your Comfy UI's diffusion model folder and choose based on your system's VRAM FP8 for lower spec machines. There is also GGUF quantized models if you prefer that route. Now there is a step 2, Q2 to Q8 versions available with F16 full variant and smaller file sizes but may impact quality on lower quantizations. So according to your system's specification, download these files and save it in your Comfy UI's diffusion model folder. The workflow itself splits into two main parts image to video and text to video. So let's start with image to video since that's where I noticed the biggest improvement. First thing you will want to do is select the correct model. Make sure it's the I2V version. So here is why this model changes everything. You will only need six steps for great results though you can push it to 10 if needed. The CFG is set to 1 by default and shift is now 2 instead of 5. For resolution, I have had success with 1024 by 576 at either 121 frames which is 24 fps, 81 frames so which is 16 fps. When I first tested it with an image of a man sitting in the rain, so I used the prompt, a lone man stands up slowly in heavy rain, then walks forward toward a distant castle. Dark stormy sky, cinematic camera moves, forward realistic motion, moody atmosphere, dramatic lighting. So here, I ran into something interesting when testing different frame lengths. When I increased from 81 to 121 frames, the motion completely broke. The guy just sat in the rain doing nothing. At first, I thought maybe switching to the FP16 model would help. But same result. This tells me there is a sweet spot with frame length. 81 frames works reliably and 
you can push to 97 frames like I have used in previous projects. But beyond that, you might hit issues. So here is how I fixed the SWOT problem. Went back to 81 frames, tweaked the prompt to specify has SWOT in hand but stands up slowly and regenerated and finally the perfect result. The quality is honestly shocking. No one would guess this was AI generated. What's crazy is the generation time. That is just 1 minute 54 seconds using only 10 GB VRAM with FP16 model. It really comes down to getting the prompt right. So let me show you another example. I fed it a blurry image of an old man with a dragon. The dragon looked photorealistic with perfect motion. The model somehow took that messy input and created something that looks like a big budget movie scene. Now let's switch to text to video. This is where things get even more impressive. First, you'll want to disable the image to video nodes and enable the text to video section. Select your T2V model. Again, you can use either the safe tensors or GGUF files. For this test, I stuck with safe tensors. I used this prompt, futuristic cyberpunk lab workshop with bright neon lights, girl is cyber enhanced, mechanic with robotic arms and purple blue hair. The result looks like something straight out of a Hollywood sci-fi movie. The lightning on the neon signs, the way her robotic arms move, it's all so natural. So here is another text to video test that shows of the hair physics. Women walking in rain, natural hair movement. Previous models always messed up hair. It would either clip through the body or move like weird tentacles. But Fusion X nails it. The hair flows exactly like real wet hair should. So the last test really shows what this model can do. I generated a scene of a woman walking through a futuristic city. So what makes Fusion X different is how it handles complex elements. So is this the ultimate AI video tool? For quality versus speed? Absolutely. The fact that it runs on 10 GB VRAM means even mid-range setup can use it. No more waiting hours for test renders. What used to take 50 steps now works in 6. If you want to play with Fusion X yourself, all the links are in the description. And if you found this useful, hit subscribe. So see you in the next one.